it has nothing to do with this, but the mandolin's awesome. Everyone should be like, a mandolin, I should get one of those and play it, and then make it a popular form of music, so when Blair bought it, it wasn't a completely useless investment. Anyways, so, I'm making these videos to sort of validate my existence, so I'll have some sort of video evidence that I was a person on Earth, and if YouTube lasts forever, then I'll be on there, and I'll be like, yeah, if you don't believe I exist, go look on YouTube, because I'm there, and that means I exist. So, um, I'm just trying to make a few videos, I'm just putting out my responses, I really like the Obama Llama video, I don't, like, support Obama, but I think Obama's still really cool, um, and yeah, that was a good time. So, what I'm going to talk about is the idea of support the troops. You see support the troops, like those magnets, like the little uh, thing. I don't know what that is, um, like the ribbon with the loop on cars all the time. And people always say, you know, I support the troops and stuff like that. But then I started wondering about it. Everyone always says, I support the troops, and blah, 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 blah. But then I was like, well, why do we support the troops? I mean, if you join the army, you knew there was a war going on. And if I have a lot of respect for you, then I would think that you wouldn't support the war. And then if you don't support the war, why would you join the army? Because you essentially know if you join the army, you're going to either be sent to war or be supporting, the, or be like physically support for the war and for the war effort. And so you're just supporting this thing that's killing a bunch of people and causing a lot of issues. And why would you sign up for that? It's like you know what you're going to have to do, you know what you're signing up for, and you're just supporting it. Because if there were no more troops, there'd be no more war because there'd be no one to fight it. Like imagine you're a five year old. And you're like on the playground, and someone's, and this kid's like, man, I really don't like that kid because he's got a stupid shirt on or something. And then this other kid's like, man, I really don't like that kid because he thinks my shirt's stupid. And so they both got like 20 of their friends, and they're like, hey, go beat up that guy. You'd be like, fuck no. Okay, well, if you're like a five year old, you're probably not going to say fuck no, but you'd be like, no. And then what would happen? Well, since the shirt kid and the kid that doesn't like the shirt, probably aren't actually going to fight each other, like, physically, that person to person, nothing would happen. There'd just be some bitter feelings that it would go away. And that's kind of what I think should happen with this war right now, or what should happen with future wars, you know. It should be like, I don't like them because their policy on this. And then other people should be like, well, I don't really care what you think. And then they shouldn't go and kill people. Because killing people is bad. You hear me? people who want to kill other people, that's bad, and don't do it. No. Um, that's really all I have to say. I realize that wasn't very coherent. If you watch this video, which I don't imagine many people will, go ahead and comment on it so I can be like, someone else knows I existed and watched my video. Yay! But, um, yeah. Oh, and a better way to solve conflict would be to stop supporting this country economically. Like, if we stopped buying, you know, oil from these countries that support terrorism or have any federal funds towards terrorism, then they would lose a bunch of money and they would change their ways to better reflect what we want. And that would be better than killing people because pew, 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 killing people is bad. Bow, bow, bow.